Hello everybody, welcome to Brickerton. I'm Ryan and uh, we are carrying on with our fence around the graveyard. So I've, I've, I've got to here. I, I started there at that join today and uh, that's currently gluing to that bit. And then I've got to here now and I'm in a bit of a, I've got to shorten this, this section here. Um, so yeah. It's just a, a slow game really waiting for it all to to dry and uh, yeah we, we keep doing a little bit the actual churchyard though is looking very well i've got trees in and gravestones and all that just got to weather the church do a little bit bit and bobs around it the church doesn't want much weathering though it just wants just dull, dulling a little bit so i might just do that now whilst I'm waiting for this bit to dry here. So I've weathered the church now, just dulled it down a little bit because there's a few bits I need to soft, soften out a bit. Um, and the fence, I'm going to cut it off there and put in the post and then it can start going around the bend. Um, so yeah, it's looking good now. I have just broke off a gravestone there but I'll stick that back on. Uh, but other than that, the church is looking rather nice now. Uh, a few bushes and stuff need to be added still. But other than that, we are rocking and we are rolling. Have a little ginty on as well today. Poor MT has been tucked away back into the stock drawer. Well, found a plate in the stock drawer for it. Uh, yeah, so. That needs to be painted brown and some grass putting on it. And we have a pathway along here. Whether we do it out of that sort, that, that stuff, I don't know. Probably will. Uh, but yeah, it's looking good. Father has uh, dashed around the edge here whilst I've been messing about with the fence over there. So once that's dry, we can get all that painted brown and uh, start working on the pub um, putting it in position and getting it all set up right and then we've got to put in the car the workshop like car garage thing that's down there and then after the lads have finished on friday afternoon we nip up to the pub and have a couple a few swift halves and um yeah so we'll get that nice and flat have the pub on there i was thinking that I'm probably gonna just use a bit of that York stone or something and just plonk the pub on it so it's got like a little path all the way all the way around it um, the plow in uh, yeah I'll probably do that but it's still looking very well still looking very very good I've got to paint the doors as well because of the light bleed so that's a, that's a job I've got to do. Got oil depot I need to do as well. I'm thinking about going down to one tank on that um, to make, make it look a bit, a bit better. Um, yeah, so we're getting there now. Just messing about with the fences and stuff, but the church is looking very well. Don't like, don't like bigging up my work, but it does look like a, like a church. Um, so the big, the big uh, gravestones there and the grave things are from uh, Harburn, Ham, are they Harburn something? Harburn Hamlet? Like, like cast things, you know, like cast pieces and then the, the little gravestones are from scale model scenery and you get 58 of them in a pack and we use them all they're all all on the graveyard there and we've just got to put a, a, a gate in there to go up the top of them stairs and then we'll put that gateway in there as well and then churchyard's nearly finished then a few bushes here and there and then we've got a stick down the 
stick the church down so it doesn't hopefully bleed any light hope not um, yeah I mean I'm, I'm happy with it I'm happy with it and dad's going to put some post and rail fencing down the back of the on that pathway there and then that is pretty much that complete and obviously we'll move on to the pub then we'll get that looking well it shouldn't take as long as that because there's a lot of detail well, not, a lot of little fiddly bits gone into this but get the fence done and then it, it'll look the part then it should well should look the part um, so I'm going to do a bit more of the fence now and then I'll uh, come back to you right now we're going to put wire in the lights for the church which go into this block of things here uh, we, we've come to the decision that we're going to get rid of this section and put in the, the ramped fencing set bit um, I'm just waiting for that to dry so whilst I'm waiting for that to dry I'll wire it in and uh, make sure it's all nice and neat for father so it's now the next day and uh, we decided to rip this section out here and uh, replace it and I was going to buy the ramp stuff but then I thought I'll give it a go myself cut them up and uh, use some plastic weld which I'll put the lid back on before it all just evaporates the bloody lethal that stuff is um, so yeah I've, I've put the pieces in I just needed to extend this one here a bit more so I've just added a, a little piece on and I'm just cut it down in a minute um, not too happy with this join in the stone wall here but sort of gonna have to live with it I think because a bit too late now it's all glued in but oh well so so yeah just proper this camera proper pulls up the details of that wall Doesn't look too bad though. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a bit rough there. That needs just sanding down in a minute. And I've also added some bushes to the back of the church. I, thought, I wired it all in last night. There was a bit of light bleed at the back. And uh, so I thought I might as well just put some bushes around. Uh, that'll stop the light bleed. I forgot to do a video when, it, when the lights were off. But I put all the wires up there into that buzz bar nice and neatly well say neatly I've, I've whipped a zip tie around them and oh, it's about good enough for me that so yeah we're getting there now got the fence all around all the way around here now as well so I've shortened that piece there and uh, glued it back up to the post and now oh it's out of focus now we've got to add, got to cut all them out individually and put them so they're all facing, so they're all facing upwards. To be honest with you, could just go like that. That makes sense.
if you've made it this far through the video, I forgot to do an outro in the garage, so I am currently sitting next to the heater um, editing the video. And just want to say thanks for subs everyone subscribing. We're at like 278, I think. I think it's at 278 at the moment. Uh, the support's just been like out of the world, you know. Not out of the world, but like been quite surprising ever since I started uploading again. It's uh, the views and stuff have just stayed quite high, which I appreciate that. Thanks everyone who does watch it. And hopefully you all stick around. Um, at the end of February, we've got Mother Rail Scotland, so we'll be going up to Glasgow. Uh, nice little train journey up there, and uh, we're going to see if we can get any any nice bargains or you know anything anything that looks nice. Bring home with us. So uh, yeah, that's at the end of February. Is that February the twenty sixth? So I'll hopefully get some videos and some footage from there, and um, well, we'll just see what 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 it brings. To be honest with you, it's it's a couple of weeks off yet, um, so hopefully there'll be another video before then. But yeah, we'll be off to Molly Rail Scotland, and uh, yeah, that'll be a nice little separate video for to all the other ones on the layout. Church scene's like getting there now. Um, fencing it's just very tedious and um, I want to try and get that scene wrapped up before I start anymore like the pub or anything like that so we're, we're trying we're getting there we're getting there with it you know just a few more bushes and fences and a few more trees in the churchyard and it should be perfect we've also got some street lamps to put in in there as well um, we were measuring them up today and we got the right height and the right height for what we want so they'll be going in just got to, soon just got to solder the resistors on and wire them in and then they'll be in and then that scene is pretty much complete then so if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to subscribe it's completely free and i'm really appreciate if you would so yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video thanks very much for watching see you